Did you know you could actually edit your YouTube videos right on YouTube without taking it down, without replacing it? These are already published videos. I'm actually gonna do this to a video I uploaded a few weeks ago. It's been published, it's got views, but now I decided I wanna edit something out because it's not maybe performing well or if you have a copyright issue, for example, you could edit a section out. Let me show you exactly how to do it. If it's new to you, I think you're really gonna find it helpful. And the YouTube course that I've been making for the last few months is almost done. So if you want to be part of the first 100 students to get a big discount, I'll put a link below to the sign up list. So basically the way you get to it is just go to YouTube Creator Studio and go to the content tab and select any video that you want to make edits to. I've already done that. And I'm going to make edits to how to build a YouTube studio from scratch video part one. And all I have to do is press the editor right here. So by default, it lands on the detail page. Go to the editor tab right here. And if you've never seen this tab before, basically this is your video up here. And down here is what's called a timeline. So you have your video timeline, you have your audio timeline. This could be whatever you're saying on the video and your music kind of combined as one track. Then you have your monetization. These are like the mid roll ad breaks that I have. You could blur part of your video and on the very bottom you have your end screens. If you have those, they'll show up at the very end. But what I wanna show you is video editing. So this is how simple this is. If you press this trim option right here, you get a different layout and you get this blue line on top of your video. And then you'll get this dark blue line in the beginning and one at the end. So first I'll show you how to actually trim the beginning at the end. If you go in the beginning, and if you decide you want this video to start later, I'm gonna come up here and press play. I'm gonna create a set of videos to show. And let's say I want this video to maybe skip all this part. So I'm just gonna kind of click, maybe I wanna start it here. All I have to do is bring the arrow over here and go this way, okay? And then this section basically just got edited out. Now until I save and approve it, nothing is happening yet, but this is an edit. Right now, my video is gonna start at the 43 second mark, as I see up here, and I'm deleting the first 43 seconds right on YouTube. I'm not deleting this video and re-uploading it or anything. I'm just making changes that I could even revert back to the original later too. Okay, so with that, I could then press preview down here, and it's gonna kinda let me see what I'm editing out, and then if I'm happy with that, I could go ahead and press save right here, or I could discard the changes if I don't wanna save it. Okay, for now, let me discard this because I wanna show you a couple of other options here. Let me press trim again. So that's for the beginning. The end works the exact same way. If you wanted to take out your outro, for example, you could just bring it in here. And in this case, it's gonna interfere with my end cards, so I have to remove the end screen cards. But this would be how you would take out the end, but I'll press clear all here in this case. But what about if you wanna take out a chunk of it in the middle? Let's say this section right here where the audio waveform is a little bit louder. Let's say this was a music section that was a copyright related issue. How do I edit this out and still keep this video live on YouTube? Well, if I press trim, I could come to where I want to start and edit like this line right here. And I could press split down here. This is a split option. And when you split, it gives you that dark blue line here where you could then drag from here to here. And now this section is what's getting taken out of my video. So what ends up happening in this case is it's gonna go from here. If I press play, I'll show you what happens. It's gonna go from here. And then it jumped to this section, right? It kind of cut out this whole section for me of maybe a song that I was using that I shouldn't have been using. So it's always important to use royalty free music too if you're getting in trouble with copyright related issue. And basically that's all, this is already edited. Now if I press preview, it's going to then give me this option to save or again to discard a change. And I'll show you one last option here. You also get these three dots because you could always revert back to the original too if you want to, if you change your mind on this. And sometimes, this I already made an edit to and I made the edit live on YouTube. I changed out the intro. Sometimes you could save it as a new video. Let me actually discard this to show you with video that I haven't made any changes to. So like this video here, let's say I wanted to change the beginning part. I'll press trim, I'll take out this beginning. 
I'll press preview and I get to save on top. And let me press save here and it's gonna say the original version of your video is stored when you save so you can undo your edits. It might take a few hours for your changes to apply. Viewers will see this version of the video but you won't be able to make other changes to the video. So make sure you understand this. There's a learn more as well. But if this is an emergency, like if you left your phone number on there, you should probably just use this blur option and leave the video unlisted till all that gets applied to your video. So if you trim the video and it's still taking you a few hours for the new video to show up here, just unlist the video if you have sensitive information on that. And the YouTube editor is getting improved all the time. I really love this option of being able to actually trim out a section in the middle and not just the beginning and then the end. And I think it's gonna get faster and faster the way they update the video for you. Right now when I did it, it took a few hours for the new version to take over the old version. But I hope you found this useful. Please make sure you subscribe if you wanna see tutorials just like this, easy to follow social media related videos, and I'll see you next time.